Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the part number 20. So what we're gonna do uh, today is just add a placeholder on uh, each tweet finally. Uh, we're gonna do the loading. Why doing this? It's because right now, the way we handle the loading, it's just by showing like uh, this uh, kind of uh, spinner right in the middle. Now it just go too fast, so that's why you don't see it. But the plan of the video is to finish with something like that. So it's gonna be like this, as you can see, having the, the kind of a loading, almost like what uh, uh, Facebook have um, in their feed. So this is what we're gonna do. For doing that, we don't gonna do this for, from scratch. We're gonna make use of one library called, uh, sorry, Aaron Placeholder. So for React Native Placeholder. So it's a library built by uh, someone else who <laughs> want to do the, the same as we done. And I think it just go really well with the design we have. So for doing this, we're gonna need we're gonna need to manage. So after installing this library, what we're gonna do is we're gonna need to manage the feed car with that. So the feed car is gonna receive the component itself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go at the top of uh, this uh, component and we're gonna import the placeholder coming from Aaron placeholder. After that. Here inside the props, we're gonna receive two props. One of them gonna be called placeholder, and you're gonna see why in a moment. And the second one is gonna be is loaded. Both values gonna be a boolean. Here, what we're gonna say is if placeholder, we're gonna finally return the same root as we have. We have right there, so the root. So the root, remember, is the main card. And now here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the placeholder component right there. This placeholder here you're gonna need to have something in the middle, so we're gonna create a wrapper inside that. So the wrapper is gonna be really simple, it's gonna be only a flex one, nothing more. So a style that view with a flex one inside that. That's it, nothing more. So now this placeholder here gonna receive some value. One of them is gonna be on ready. And here we're gonna say the on ready is gonna be the difference of the is load. So when it's loaded, it's it's um, it's true. That's gonna be now it's ready. So we're gonna put that there. So that we have line number. So this is the number of line we want to show right there because we have two. We're gonna say two. After that, we're gonna say animate. We're gonna put shine. So this is the kind of animation we have, and also we're gonna say last line width. So the width of the last line, and for us with the design we have, forty percent is gonna be perfect. So this is this one. So this is here that's gonna be like 100% and 40, like you, you see the 40% what I mean. But this thing is not just placeholder, it's gonna be placeholder that image contain. Like that. So now if I refresh, nothing gonna really show. And also for testing this, go to your server. So go to your server. And what we're gonna do finally, it's we're gonna add inside the server uh, a set timeout finally. So we're gonna do this right there. So we're gonna say uh, here uh, middleware. Well, finally, we're gonna just say set timeout. Oops, set timeout. Where we're gonna put the next, but we're gonna say 5000. So that's gonna be five full seconds. So now, if I refresh, that's gonna be really slow now. So you're gonna see right now all the apps filling. You see. This is really bad. I mean, we can change this user experience right there. So now that's why we're gonna jump on the home screen. And what we're gonna do, it's we're gonna uh, go here and we're gonna do another render. But this one, we're gonna call that render place holder. So this one's gonna render the placeholder when it's, it's loading. So here I'm gonna say item, I'm gonna see why. It's here now, I'm gonna just say feed card. So the same feed car as the other one, but this one's gonna be the placeholder. So I'm gonna say placeholder. After that, here what I'm gonna say is the key gonna be equal to the item. And here I'm gonna say is loader is gonna be equal to the value of this that props the data that loading. This is property coming in by default in the Apollo right there. So now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna change this activity indicator now. And now what I'm gonna do. It's I'm gonna have another flat list here. So this flat list here, I'm gonna say uh, the same content container align self stretch. 
but now the data is going to be an array of one, two, three. Just forgetting these three elements will take the full screen. After that, I'm going to say render item. Now we're going to call this that render placeholder. And now after that, I'm going to say key instructor. So I don't need to say the key here. So I can just say here, I can remove that. Now here I'm going to say key extractor equal at item item this way so now if I refresh you're gonna see and now you go like I asked you see the 40% is right there and now this is the animation the shine so as you see this component make your life really easy to make this kind of placeholder was it not too complicated if you ask yeah but why using this kind of fake value it just because I have three elements if you think you can put like five elements in the the home screen at the beginning just go with five not gonna go well so after that everything gonna go like that was before so I hope you enjoyed this little part and we're gonna talk with her have a good night bye